In this video, we will see a scenario where we get the error message which says the ID value RBC occurs twice in the input data set. So this text RBC can be any value based on your data. So we get this error when we try to transpose the data. Whenever we want to transpose the data from long to wide, we specify the name of the variable which we want to transpose on the var statement. And if we do not specify the ID statement, SAS actually creates those many number of columns equivalent to the number of rows present in the input data. So here we had four rows, so SAS actually creates four columns for us. And it automatically creates the names of the newly created columns beginning with a prefix of col. But if we want to use the names of the values present in a second variable for the newly created column name. So we specify the name of that variable on the ID statement. So here in this case we are specifying that the values present in LB test CD variable has to be used to specify the names of the newly created columns. So here in this data scenario if we see we have four rows with the value of HGB, RBC, RBC and NEUT. So when we try to transpose this data when we have more than one value in uh, more than one record for a unique value of LB test CD value what actually it is trying to achieve is creating a two different columns one for RBC value of 5.5 and a second column named RBC for 4.5 so we are effectively asking SAS to create a structure which with this structure with two RBC columns but a SAS cannot have two different variables with the same name so SAS fails to transpose the data and gives us the error message indicating that it is failing for so and so reason so if you see so as we had more than one occurrence of RBC within L LB test CD so it is indicating that the ID value RBC occurred twice in the input data set and the SAS system is getting stopped So we get this error message because we cannot have two columns with the same named variable. 